Hello there. In this video, I'll illustrate how to use XLOM to perform a weighted moving average forecast under three different weighting scenarios. This question corresponds to problem 4.7 in your text. In the problem, we're provided with six weeks of historical patient data for a clinic. And the clinic administrator wants you to forecast week seven, and you decide to use weighted moving average. You calculate four actual demand levels with weights of 0.33 on the present period, 0.25 on the previous, 0.25 two periods ago, and 0.167 three periods ago. So let's go ahead and solve this. Click XLOM. Make sure you select the XLOM tab at the very top. Go by chapter, select weighted moving average. Here we'll call this P4.7 WMA. We're provided with six prior weeks of data, and we want to average four periods. Don't worry about the options for now. We we'll hit OK, generates a new spreadsheet for us. We'll enter our demand 65, 62, 70, 48, 63, and 52, and apply the weeks backwards as provided. 0 0.333, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and 0 0.167. Double check, make sure that those add up to 100%. And it gives us a forecast of 57 or 56.6 patients expected to come into the clinic next week. We'll just, what we'll do here is just provide a summary of the different models without having to recreate each one. And we'll just go ahead and change the weights. 56.756 was the answering requirement A. Then for requirement B, all we're asked to do is change the weights. This time you can see that the weights are not fractional. They're actually based on whole numbers. So 20, 15, 15, and 10 you'll see that it's not that much different from the previous one. And all this is doing is showing you that you can attach weights as percentages or fractional weights, or you can apply weights on a whole number basis. If we look at requirement C, here we're asked to change the weights back to fractional weights of 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and 0 0.1. This results in a forecast of 56.3. What I want to do now is show you how to solve this manually for one of the models, but also take a closer look at these whole number weights here in requirement B. So the weights were 20, 15, 15, and 10, and they actually ask you, you know, how would the forecast change and explain why? Well, what's interesting about these whole number weights is if we were to take 20, 15, 15, and 10, they add up to a total of 60. And then if we divided each one by 60, so 20 divided by 60 is 0 0.333, 15 divided by 60 is 0 0.25, and 10 out of 60 is 0 0.167. And guess what? These all add up to 1.00. So what we've done is converted these whole number weights into fractional weights, which we can then apply to the model. So solving manually, and again, I'll just do this for once so that you know how to do it. We will work backwards. These weights apply as indicated 0 0.333, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and 0 0.167. So we'll take 0 0.167 times 70 plus 0 0.25 times 48 plus 0 0.25 times 63 plus 0 0.25. 333 times 52. And again, these are the same as 20 over 60, 15 over 60, 15 over 60, and 10 over 60. Point being, you'll get the same answer. The forecast for week seven is 56.756. And there you have it. Weighted moving average using XLOM and done manually.